Well, hello. Those of you who know me well know that I'm rubbish at multitasking. So I'm sitting on a bench at Saltram House with Milton Jones's 10 Second Sermons book balanced on my lap with a piece of card with the words of a hymn written on it in my handwriting, which means that probably I won't be able to read it. And the sky is starting to go very grey and we may end up in a bit of a rainstorm at some point. But Milton Jones asked the question, or heading, the church. So I thought I'd just turn to the hymn book first. Samuel John Stone, 1839 to 1900, those of you who are playing along to the hymn book, How Old Were we They When They Died, wrote this, the church's one foundation is Jesus Christ our Lord. We are a new creation by water and the word. From heaven he came and taught us what perfect love can be. Through life and death he sought us and rose to set us free. And so what is the church? Well, if you are visitors to a church, they often find themselves thinking, what on earth am I doing here? Sadly also, so do some of the members. Whereas the early church had everything in common because it had just started. But somehow now, parts of the church have nothing in common with anyone. This development, this evolution. And sometimes, and this sounds very familiar, someone once said to me, don't get involved in the church, they'll suck you in. Well, Milton says, sometimes people think of the church as being like a giant helicopter. They don't want to get too close in case they get sucked into the rotors. But others, he nicely adds, think of it as Winnie the Pooh's pyjama suit, safe and warm, but they hope to goodness that no one sees them in it. We move on. This is very familiar with when I was running a church. Some people say, I really want to be used. And yeah, you do. And you turn around to someone and say, oh, could you just move all the chairs out of the church because we've got some toddler group where they need all the room to run around and play in. And they'll then say under their breath, now I'm just being used. People have said, well, you don't need to be part of a team, team church. You can go and kick a ball around in a field on your own. And yes, you can, but you need to have a plan of what happens when the opposition turn up. How are you going to manage them? And that's where the church of God comes in. Church is also, and for my friends who've not been able to go to the gym because of lockdown. I haven't been to the gym because I'm idle. But it's like, church is like being a member of a gym. Some people like the idea of going, but don't. Others go, but aren't really training for anything. And some actually use it to help them with the race that they're running. A perfect church, Milton tells us, will be a community of hermits. And actually, probably lockdown, has created that because we have all been hermits to a certain extent and church has had to change. Using Zoom has made a heck of a difference and other ways through the telephone, through different methods. And should church be for everyone arriving with one piece of the jigsaw puzzle so that we all work together to put it together? And in the same way that if you're on a journey the services are not the motorway, and nor is a church the services. And ask yourself, what businessman would buy shares in a company with the church's corporate image? Ancient buildings in permanent disrepair, staffed by madmen and perverts who sell bland nostalgia and dogmatic nonsense to a bunch of repressed misfits, most of whom just see, seem to need a jolly good slap, says Milton. I would say that I listened to a, a cassette years ago where um, a minister was talking about why aren't people coming to church? And he said, well, when you invite someone around to your house, you don't give them an uncomfortable camp chair to sit on. You don't give them horrible coffee in a, what was it, bluishy coloured cup. 
And you didn't get them to listen to music that was played on some tinny record player. No, you gave them the best. And that's what the church should do. So there's some thoughts for the day. A little bit longer today, five minutes and 30 seconds. I hope you've managed to reach the end. If you have, well done. God bless you. Bye for now.